Patellar endotorsion is one of the most under-recognized causes of knee pain. In this video, I will explain how you can detect and correct this problem. Patellar endotorsion means literally inward torsion or inward position of the kneecaps. It usually occurs on both knees, but often one knee is more pronounced than the other. Sometimes this is also called kissing knees, because it seems as if the two patellae are kissing each other. Patellar endotorsion is one of the most commonly overlooked causes of knee pain. Actually, it is not the torsion itself that is painful, but the biomechanical consequences caused by the inward position of the kneecaps. In the normal situation, the kneecaps are positioned centrally, in the line of forward progression when you walk or run. When that is not the case, and the kneecaps are positioned inwards, this leads to a biomechanical disadvantage and potential overload, which contributes to several painful conditions, such as chondromalacia patellae, or anterior knee pain syndrome, Hoffa impingement, or also called fat pad syndrome, patellar tendinitis, plica syndrome, pes anserinus tendinitis, shin splints or medial tibial stress syndrome, and so on. The most common cause of patellar endotorsion is flattening of the medial arches of the feet, or so-called flat feet. That is relatively easy to detect. When you lift the medial arch of the foot, you will note that the inward positions of the kneecap instantaneously resolves. The reason is that when the medial arch of the foot is insufficient or collapses, the leg and the knee rotate inward. And usually, the external rotator muscles higher up at the hip are unable to compensate for that internal rotation. So the solution for patellar endotorsion is relatively straightforward. Lifting the medial arches of the feet will indeed correct the problem. And the easiest way to do so is by corrective insoles or by using shoes with well-supported medial arches. But that is of course a passive way of correcting the problem. Even better is to try to obtain active correction by strengthening exercises of the foot muscles that support and improve the medial arch of the foot. These muscles are the tibialis anterior and posterior, the peroneus longus, the toe flexors and the intrinsic muscles of the foot. Also, strengthening the external rotator muscles at the level of the hip will further help. That includes the gluteus maximus and the posterior fibers of the gluteus medius. If you achieve in strengthening these, you not only get the passive correction by the insoles, but also the active correction from the better muscle tone. Thank you for watching.